I mean, uh, it's good to be back at Auto Expo. I mean, after three years, um, we saw your launch. We were there at your press conference. Uh, your overall team here at this uh, year's Auto Expo. Can we start off with that, Mr. Babu? The team in uh, Auto Expo right now, we are looking at sustainability, but also creating value to our customers. The products what we have displayed are all unique and which will transform the segment by itself. We are looking at transformation both in uh, passenger segment as well as in the cargo movements as well, particularly in last mile and mid mile delivery. So these are all the uh, important areas which I believe and we believe that uh, it's going to adapt electric mobility or sustainable mobility in this decade. Uh, and hence, we are very happy that we have a comprehensive portfolio both in EV and IV series uh, which will cater to multiple requirements, not only in India, but globally. Okay. So, I mean, finally, we have the, the cargo EV is also ready as well. I think uh, that is in the limelight today, at least. I'm sure you'll have some more uh, launches coming up. Few words on that cargo uh, EV that you've launched. So, the IV series is uh, uh, designed uh, to address the current needs of what is transforming in the last mile and mid mile. Uh, if you look at e-commerce players, if you look at what's happening in the white goods, if you look at the congestion happening in the cities and also uh, the, tran the transformation happened due to GST, the hub and spoke models which are on transportation, all that considered needs a small shift and transformation in the light commercial vehicle. So I believe the IV series will do that. It will, through connectivity and switch ion platform, is going to give a lot of value added and asset management, route planning, digital twinning and over there updates on software is going to really help uh, to keep the drivers, the fleet operators through the management of those fleets in a very, what I would say, controlled way, in a very predictable way, in a more uh, optimistic way and that will help that segment to really uh, transform going forward. Uh, so, I strongly believe we are at the right time. The technology what we have used is also in such a way that either you can do a home charging or we can do a charging from a normal uh, fast charging from a, a regular car chargers. So, that, that will make it more viable in adaptation and easy for our customers to operate it uh, without uh, looking for any dedicated charging infrastructure. I mean, uh, on one side, we see a lot of EVs across the show here at the motor show this time. On the other side, there's also a lot of talk on nobody's sure of what technology, uh, as far as emissions is concerned, what technology will be the future, right? What is your thought? I mean, at every checkpoint, I think it's good to review what we're doing, what the industry is doing as well. What is your take? We have CNG, we have LNG, we have electric, we have hybrid, fuel cell as well. What is your take on the electric part of this entire ecosystem? I think uh, that's a very pertinent question so because this question I've been asked over a period of time. Uh, a, a decade back when I entered in this industry, people used to ask the future of mobility is EVs. Now, EVs is no more future of mobility. It is the mobility of today. Uh, similarly, if you look at it, there are places for multiple, uh, what I would say, energy requirements, CNGs, LNGs, fuel cell, electric vehicles, uh, uh, I would say hydrogen eyes and many more. I think all of them will have a role to play in mobility. Uh, uh, it's the reality that not one uh, technology but multiple technologies are going to play a role. Having said that, which technology is going to mass adapt in this coming decade, if you look at it, particularly in the segment which we are in, uh, the passenger segment, public passenger transport and the light commercial vehicle up to 7.5 tons, we believe that it's going to be the large number, not the niche segment, is going to be EVs. I talked about uh, uh, in the LCV segment about 100,000 vehicle by 2025 and about tripling it in 2030 is the right time for adoption into mass market. So, uh, there will be a mass market adoption by EV. There will be a niche player on multiple segments, uh, alternate fuels, everything, which will be uh, taking uh, uh, place in this decade. Overall, it is good for mobility because innovation is growing all over the uh, in every segment. Right. Interesting. On one side, it is good that almost every OEM here has an electric vehicle product on display. But that also means competition, right? Do you look at it as competition? Or are you look at looking at it as there is space for everybody in the market? The market for EV is growing. What is your view on this? And how do you uh, think Switch will differentiate itself and stay ahead of the others? Especially the new players who are entering into the field. 
I think when you look at a CAGR of 30 plus in the, the decade, there is actually no competition. To be frank, it is good that everybody enters the space and increases the whole pie. That's why I believe and healthy competition is always there and it's welcome. It's important that the customer get the best products. We have our very unique value proportion of uh, giving uh, total cost of ownership the best to be in the category and different ways of giving that value addition to the customers. And I don't think uh, uh, I don't think there is a, what I would say uh, uh, deep competition to achieve the market. I think all of them are trying to create a new market. I think we will be leading in creating such markets. Probably one last thing uh, about the Auto Expo itself. Uh, what are your expectations from the show? Because uh, this is a show where we're seeing passenger cars, we're seeing two wheelers. Of course, we're seeing commercial vehicles for passenger and goods mobility as well. What are your expectations? Whom do you plan to invite and visit? You know, expect you to visit your stall? I think it is important that uh, as an auto industry, we are all together after a long time. Uh, many of them are. Uh, we are not able to see other products, what they are doing in a very comprehensive way. I think what we are as a brand and what others are creating a brand, it will be a very good learning for each of us. I think it is also the industry to share ideas, what we think, what they think. And it's important that together as an industry, Indian auto industry, we grow and capture not only Indian market, but globally, the opportunity to look at. I see this as a convolution of people minds coming together, brands coming together, uh, what I would say, new concepts and ideas coming together where people demonstrate what they think is the best for the future and what we think is best for the future. And most of them will validate some of the things which we are assuming. Some of them will create something new which we will learn. I think it is the best platform for all of us to be in together. Fantastic. Sir. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Parash. It's my pleasure.